When people say you're selfish for doing this, what would you respond? You are selfish. Your coffee shop is important to you, so you worked it in a way to make it legal. You worked it out in a way to click and collect, you worked it out in a way to stand 1.4 meters, whatever it is, apart from each person, so you are selfish. Dan Andrews is selfish. He is okay for his needs, or for an average Australian, to his needs is essential, so he made it work. Whereas our needs is not essential enough to make it work. Avi Mini here for Rebel News in Melbourne, Australia. Happy Rosh Hashanah, the second holiest day on the Jewish calendar. Now, you'll ask, what am I doing here? I've come to synagogue to celebrate, but no, can't go in because this synagogue behind me is surrounded by police. The crime. People last night dared to come and worship. How you going, guys? Busy day today? No comment. No comment. Not even on the day. We don't chat to media. You don't chat to media? We don't chat to media. Lucky on fake news. These guys are the troublemakers. They're not like you and me. <laughs> what do you mean, Steph? Like, different. They're from a. So, you, listen, I'll give you some education. Yep. So, you see, you see your tattoos. Yeah, yeah. You see my tattoos. Yeah. They're different. Yeah. You see the way they dress? Yeah. You see the way this? But that's a guy, so that doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how many officers are here today or not? No. Nah. 20. 20? I think he works for the media team. Your producer. He's my producer. <laughs> you think they should be allowed to pray? I don't know what to say, bro. Like, if you want to pray, you can pray, bro. Mate, they, 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 they live in their own little world. It's just disgraceful. The problem you're going to have in this community is that Every family is a mass gathering. So for the 18 months you've never broken a rule? No. You're better than most people. I, I don't know anyone that hasn't broken a rule. Well, there you go. This is the real time yeah, that it ends, but some people do like an extra 20 minutes. You guys always, you're, meant, you're Jewish, you're meant to get less percentage off. <laughs> I don't know about uh, coronavirus, a headache I have. <laughs> I'm just trying to find out when the last time police surrounded a synagogue was. Do you know the answer? To stop them from illegal prayers? We feel like in Nazi Germany in the 1930s. That's exactly what we feel like. I spoke today to a Holocaust survivor and he said it reminds him again and it used. That's exactly what it felt like and that's exactly what it feels like today. I'm not saying this is Nazi Germany. I'm just saying the only other time in recent history, police surrounded a synagogue to ban illegal prayers. It was Nazi Germany. So we've got the health department here to ensure that uh, Jews don't worship on the second holiest day, sitting next to each other with a mask on his chin. Because science. We tried to negotiate with the HS saying all we need is 10 people in a room. We will be four meters apart from each other or five meters apart, or six meters apart, we just need 10 people in a room to pray, but they don't view it as essential. So we went to court, went to federal court, and we lost. What else can one do in a democratic country? As long as you're not going to synagogue. <laughs> not allowed it. I'm allowed to. No gathering. <laughs> Otherwise, you would be there. <laughs> that's it. Jewish or not, doesn't matter. How do you feel about what happened here last night? The double standards is just unbelievable. Our prime minister attended a family party for Father's Day, so is there double standards? I think we should find them all here. Let's get their faces. Oh, oh, too much fun. Look, they're running around. You don't need tear gas in this community. You just need a camera. Look, they're breaking news. Breaking news. Don't know, members of the breakaway group in Melbourne's Adas yeah. Synagogue had an illegal and a clash with police and media and brought shame on our community. What would you respond to those Jews? What are you talking about? The, the Jewish kapos? So what you call them kapos? They are kapos. The more distant they are from Judaism, the more they distance themselves. How come? So something correlates between the two facts? At the moment, you need to be 1.5 metres apart from each other. So yeah. I would appreciate if you would separate and yeah. not stand in such a large group around me. Um, I would appreciate. Is that, you've got your mask. Yeah. Just if you're enforcing COVID restrictions, I think. In the last 24 hours, the mainstream media has crucified this community for daring to pray on the second holiest day of the year. It turns out that not really much happened. There was a small group upstairs, but a group who tried to work with the government. They're saying that there is a, a cameraman that's concussed and the media is going crazy over this community, acting like they're violent 
criminals. I would love to visit them. So, so, so if they give you the, the address, you'll go visit the... the, 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 the visit everyone is sick, of course. So who heard him though? Who heard him? No one. That's a problem. I just want to know how many of them are not from St Kilda. What are you worried about? They're bringing in COVID. They're the ones bringing in COVID. <laughs> Came out to see here for 12 officers outside my synagogue. Yeah, okay. And it's making us feel very unsafe in, this, in the situation in the media and everywhere. Okay. The hate is now going up a level out in the, in the media and I'm scared myself to go to work tomorrow because of your presence here. Under the show directions, what is the, your reason for Because I'm here, here to speak to you. Us two are walking down this street because we're not Jewish. They don't say anything. You guys don't need to shame this is what you guys know. They just need to shame. They can't do anything. You guys dividing, you more dividing than you actually bring us together. I'm just asking you again desperately for my safety, for my kids' safety, for my wife's safety, for the community's safety. Please, I'm begging you. Four I'm begging you now, okay? Our job is to enforce the chair direction. It's part of our job. Is the job not also to protect the community? And so, is there anything else you want to say? That's all. I just want to give you the plea over. That's all. There you have it. Um, their job is to enforce the CHO directives uh, and if it costs the safety of the community or the perceived safety of members in this community, people who live looking like Jews every single day and they're telling the commanding officer that to them this is creating a real danger. This is just really one family, isn't it? <laughs> this is half the family. They thought it was a mass gathering. Yeah, that's exactly why. They didn't realise that Jews have... Uh... Yeah, ridiculous. Well, you know, I'm from a small family, so it makes sense that... Small? <laughs> 17 brothers and sisters. There you have it. From the streets of Melbourne, the other side of the story. What you won't see in the mainstream media, because guess what? They're not as evil as they made them out to be. Share the truth. I trust the government. Are you going to trust them if in five years you're still in lockdown? <laughs> well, that's a really interesting... That, well, that's interesting. Well, that's an interesting assumption. Um, let's just hope that doesn't happen, mate. Where do you draw the line? Because they've obviously drawn their line. And where do you well, draw... Well, it's too early. If you think it's important for the world to see the other side of this story, the other side of the bombardment this community has received in the last 24 hours, make sure to like, comment and share. Then head over to yeminireport.com, give us your name and email. So if they kick, off, kick us off the platform you're watching this on right now, we can send you the other side of the story directly. Avi Mini from Melbourne, Australia, for Rebel News. Bye.